My name is Eric. I'm an engineer here at Phillips and Temero. I'm going to talk to you about silicone pad heaters. Silicone pad heaters are an efficient way to keep your vehicle, fuel, fluids, and battery running at peak performance. They're an efficient heat source because the silicone pad is mounted onto the surface, allowing direct heat transfer. There are three different applications for silicone pad heaters. Fuel or fluid reservoirs, diesel fuel filters, and battery heaters. Each type of silicone pad comes in various configurations of size, shape, voltage, plug type, thermostats, and CSA, CE certifications to fit a wide variety of installation applications. Plug types come in different options. 120 volt two prong, 120 volt three prong, 240 volt three prong, CE7 for European applications, and blunt wire ends. Thermostats are available in two temperature settings, 200 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 93 Celsius, or 300 degrees Fahrenheit, which is 149 degrees Celsius. You can find a complete list of pad options at phillipsandtemro.com. Once you've defined what silicone pad is right for your application, the next step is proper installation. Adhesive silicone pad heaters come in various sizes, including 1 by 2 inches or 2.5 by 5.1 centimeters, up to 8.5 by 14.5 inches or 21.6 by 37 centimeters, also including CE and CSA certified options. Along with the silicone pad, you will receive a scraper, a tube of silicone, tie straps, and installation instructions. An adhesive silicone pad heater can be installed on a flat surface of a metal fluid reservoir, like an oil pan or hydraulic tank. Avoid very rough surfaces or areas that will not allow 100% contact between the silicone pad and the mounting surface, because air pockets will cause the product to prematurely fail. Once you have selected the appropriate area for installation, clean the surface of any dirt, grease, or oil. Position the silicone pad on the metal pan and trace the outline. Remove the paint from the installation site using sandpaper, leaving the area scuffed, because a scuffed surface will allow better adhesion between the silicone pad and the surface. Wipe the scuffed area clean with acetone or brake cleaner. Do not use any products that leave a film, such as gasoline, diesel fuel, detergents, or degreaser. Then, wipe the area completely dry. Peel the protective backing from the silicone pad, being careful not to touch the adhesive. Apply power to the heater for three to five seconds to activate the adhesive on the silicone pad. Warming the pad will provide better adhesion between the metal and the heater. Slowly start to adhere the silicone pad to the installation site. Apply pressure to the pad using the scraper provided to flatten and remove air pockets. Attach a tie strap closest to the heater to prevent the weight of the cord from pulling down on the heater. Apply power to the pad for five to 10 seconds to warm the adhesive. Remove the power supply and scrape across the entire surface of the heater again. Apply a small bead of the silicone adhesive around the outside edge of the heater. This silicone bead will seal the edges to help retain the adhesion between the metal pan and heater. Route and secure the power cord to a convenient location. Prior to using, let the silicone pad cure for 24 hours. Thank you for joining us today. Please watch for additional installation videos on how to keep your vehicle up and running during the cold weather season. And don't forget, to visit our website at philipsandtemro.com.